so uh, talking about the different types of leadership style in my last video i have discussed about the first three important types of leadership style in the direction uh, chapter in the chapter called directing in your business study syllabus of class 12 commerce i have already discussed about these six three types among the six types of leadership now i will discuss the remaining uh, three types in today's class one by one i will discuss these three types of leadership these are also important not so important like this three but uh, these are also important leadership styles so first today i will start with the fourth type of leadership that is bureaucratic leadership bureaucratic leadership or rules centered it is also called rules centered leadership style rules centered this is a style where a leader a leader's behavior is influenced by a high degree of reliance on rules restrictions and regulations this type of leadership style is totally based upon uh, rules and regulations and procedures to be followed in an organization rules oriented rules restricted uh, style leadership style now um, as you can see the name suggest uh rules centered leadership style bureaucratic means rules centered so everything is based on rules as a result the process of administration is reduced to a series of routine checks uh old style this is a old school method um the rules specify the obligations of the subordinate and force them to do particular things in specific ways uh there is not any possibility of deviation from the rules and regulations things are being done as they are being done for long in the past and without any scope of deviation in the future new ideas innovation research development have got nothing no connection no place in this type of working situation uh, over dependence on rules regulations and formalities lead to red tapism there is too much of uh, paperwork workers perform their job very mechanically there is no participation or initiative from the part of the workers to bring a change there is no challenge in the job there is nothing to learn in the job everything follows mechanically everything follows uh, according to rule and uh, in the same pattern which is what it was followed 10 years before so uh, no change is there in the job everything is rule centered and everything is routine based so this is just a, you can say a very old method of leadership style or very backdated method of leadership style very outdated method next comes the manipulative style manipulative style uh, this style is based on the belief that employees are manipulated by the leader to attain the organizational goals a manipulator leader is sensitive about the needs and desires of the employees employees are normally resentful as they know that they are being manipulated as a result a feeling of distrust arises among the manipulative nature of the leader and that become evident from these leadership styles this leadership style is effective only when cooperation and coordination have to be achieved on an urgent project it is also suitable when highly motivated employees are needed for short duration project however manipulative leadership is not effective when employees are of a low profile and they are not so ambitious so manipulation cannot be done over there where employees are not so efficient not so uh, ambitious and they are having very low profile so this is the manipulative way of leadership style now comes the last leadership style after discussion of all these comes the last leadership style which is called paternalistic leadership style paternalistic leadership style now where do we get this word paternal from what do we what do we mean by paternal 
Paternal means something from father's side, something from our father's side. That is called paternalistic. Paternal. So paternalistic leadership style is based on certain sentiment and certain emotions. Here, a paternalistic leader is like a father to its, his subordinates. He acts as a father figure, as a godfather uh, to his employees or to his subordinates. So this leadership uh, style follows uh, in some of the organization where the leader acts as a father figure to his subordinates. This is based on certain sentiments and emotion of the employees. Here the leader serve as a head of the family. Here what kind ha what thing what happens now? Um, the organization is treated as a family structure and uh, everybody have their own duties, own performances and everybody have their own importance in their position and the head of the family and uh, the leader act as a head of the family, he act as a father. So <clears throat> here uh, he treats his subordinates like, a, like other family members. So um, this serves, he serves as a head of the family and treats his subordinate like other family members. He helps, guides, protect all his uh, subordinates like a father protect the whole of the family, all the family members. Uh, he provides them with good working conditions, welfare facilities and uh, fringe benefits. This type of leadership creates social warmth and uh, group cohesiveness but there is a little opportunity for subordinates to exercise any initiative to grow and realize their full potential what is the main drawback of this kind of leadership is that this in this kind of leadership the subordinate or the employees become too much dependent on uh, father-like leader. They have very uh, less of initiative to do something. They have much little scope to grow and they become very much dependent upon their leader who act as the father because they know that the leader is there upon their head to do everything, to make all the decision, to make bring all the changes. He is there. So very uh, less competence is seen in the family members, just like in the family members, everybody is taking care of each other and they don't have so much of competition within themselves. Here also same thing happens. They are dependent on the leader to do something. They have the less initiative and they have less competence. They have, they are not so much ambitious as the leader himself is. So they are too much dependent on their leaders. Like we are dependent in a family uh, upon the head of the family like that that only so this is the paternalistic uh, leadership style here uh, it is high the employees are highly dependent on the uh, leader so these are the six leadership styles that i have explained you today uh, go through this they are very interesting in this chapter uh, this is the most in interesting thing uh, i hope whatever i have explained you have understood through these two classes back to back that i have provided about leadership styles in my next class, I will start up with the fourth element of directing and the last element of directing that is communication. Till then, goodbye.